Hi everyone, it's Matt from Greatness Every Day, and in this video I'm excited to share with you as part of our Tech Tuesday video series how you can use Google Forms to grow your business and grow your email list. And that's something that I'm doing personally right now because I'm going through and really kind of looking at how can I be more strategic in the growth of Greatness Every Day. And one of the things that I want to kind of start doing is getting people's email addresses. And I've just started doing this and I'm using Google Forms for a few reasons. One, because anybody can use it if they have an internet connection. Most likely they can sign up for a Gmail account. And then after that, it's free. And I really like free things. If there's something that works really, really good and is free, uh, I'm not gonna pay for something that works just as good. All right, that's not good business sense. Um, so what I'm doing in this video is I'm going to give you a tutorial how to use Google Forms to grow your business, to grow your email list specifically. And I'm going to show you two different ways you can do that. So I hope you like the video. And if you do, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know down below that you're doing the same thing. Thanks for watching. All right. So to get started, what you're going to do is go into Google and you're going to search for forms. And then you're going to select Google Forms as it comes up and go down into go to Google Forms. And that opens up the software. And from there, you're going to see at the very top, you can start a new form that is blank, or you can use one of these templates that are provided for you. But for the sake of this video, I want to use an actual form that I'm currently using to collect information for people that are uh, going to be coming to a seminar for me on morning routines. And just kind of before I, I say, I show you how to do this, what I want you to do is, always tell people that the information they're providing you is confidential. You want to make sure that they trust you, that you're not going to give out their information, whether, whatever that is, whether it's their name or their email address, you're gonna keep that confidential. That trust is key if you want to scale and grow customers. So that's kind of my, my first thing. And I'm gonna show you in this video two ways, the mandatory way to make people provide you with their email address and the option uh, that they have to provide you or not to provide you. And I'm gonna tell you which one I think is better as well. So to make the mandatory option, you're going to go into the settings and you're going to select collect email addresses. Down at the bottom, what's gonna happen is if you selected response receipts, this basically means that if somebody completed the survey and gave you their email, then they would be sent an answer, uh, a copy of the answers to their email address and I'm gonna select save. And notice at the top where the email address section has been added to this form and it's mandatory, indicated by the star where they have to provide you with a valid email address in order to submit their survey. So um, that section appears right away and I like it because they know that they have to give you that information if you make that mandatory. To deselect it, you go into settings, deselect collect email addresses, click save and that goes away. So that's the first option of making email addresses mandatory. But the second option, and it's my preferred option, is the really giving people the choice to provide it to you or not. So let's scroll down to the bottom of this survey. And after I've asked all the questions, you'll notice here I say, thanks for answering these questions. If you wanna stay connected, please enter your email below. And for me, this is the most valuable piece because people have the choice to give me their email and they have the choice not to. And if I was just to be going through and collecting a thousand email addresses, I made it mandatory and I just got that number a thousand, I could probably do that pretty quickly if I was just caring about the number of email addresses. But if those people aren't going to be buying something from me, I don't care about how many email addresses I have. I care about growing my business with customers that will continuously buy from me. So that's why I'm saying give the option to your customers because if they wanna stay connected with you, if they see value in what you're doing, they are going to enter their email address at the bottom of this form. Um, big thing for me is I would rather have 100 people or 50 people that have a high likelihood of buying something that I'm gonna be offering them through email rather than just a really big email list. So those are a little bit about my thoughts on email lists. Those two options are there. You choose what's right for you.
So there you go. There is a video on how you can use Google Forms to grow your business and collect people's emails and really kind of scale at whatever scale you'd want to. So go ahead down below. Let me know that you like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram for daily inspiration and encouragement to live a great life. You can also visit our website at www.greatnesseveryday.online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.